Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of work around here. I was uh, cleaning up some trees over the other end there, and grabbed uh, some more slugs while I was at it. Uh, you know, we gotta have something to burn, right? Uh, but yeah, uh, I want to do. I was looking at uh, the efficiency of what's going on here, and uh, we're gonna double up the screw screw production line today. Uh, not only that, but I think we have enough to upgrade the elevator. Uh, one of the things I do want to do is move the elevator out of the way because uh, it's in the way of production. What can I say? Uh, since I have, I have been able to get under that. I don't know why, I could, but because I've been going around gathering up biomass, I have been uh, ended up my inventory. So I guess uh, I should have enough to get some stuff going. But uh, I've been looking at this. So basically, what's going on is the. Well, those miners might be doing 60. I think that's where it's coming from. But basically, the smelter's doing 30. And then we go over here, and the rods are doing only 15. 15 per minute. And then we go down here, and then we get down to the screws, and it's only 10 per minute. So, realistically, uh, what I want to do is all four of these lines that are producing screws, so I'm actually going to double them up. Uh, I could double up the rods, but that means moving stuff around, and I'm lazy. What can I say? Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go in here. Let's see. We're going to actually come off the smelter. Actually, come, it's handy that I left some of these merge uh, splitters and mergers in place. Uh, production. Yes, it's been a while since I played hot. Can you tell? And just because, let's actually put do the same setup that I have here. Where I'm gonna get? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Organization. There we go. Uh, and yes, I realize it's on my hotbar. Uh, so basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double this up. I have a container here. I'm not gonna have to bother going back in here because it's gonna go into its own constructor, and then another container, and then to its own screw line. And then it's gonna be merging back into the other containers. Uh, I have upgraded a few lines up to the Mark II, so we'll probably have to do that. But let me do that, and I'll be right back. This is weird, and a little noisy because I'm at the smelters. Uh, I was coming over here to check what was going on with these. I was trying to get, get the conveyor hooked up, and apparently I had this facing the wrong way. It's actually a merger, not a splitter. Uh, I've been finding all these boxes everywhere, like resources, and no idea what, where they're from or what they're from. I wondered if maybe when I was dismantling stuff before, from before, if I didn't have the storage space or something. Interesting, but free. Anyway. Okay, there it is. So, another four screw lines produced. Uh, coming. Oh, jeez. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Oh, that was close. Surprised I didn't take that much damage. Uh, yeah, so that is that. So, we have four times, well, two times the screw, well, the screw is going through, so it really comes in handy. Uh, definitely want to get uh, the reinforced plates going, so. I've been thinking since we have all the extra screws coming off now off of these lines and the extra plates, we might have to might have to get a reinforced plate factory going because we're gonna need a lot of those things, especially when we start getting to the the, the 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 modular frames. I think it's just the modular frames that need them, and the heavier modular frames we need the other stuff. But as you can see, look at that, 150, well, 104 of them. Uh, I don't know how many we need, but let's see, how am I doing for inventory space? Uh, let's find out. Let's actually move this thing. Let's go put it somewhere else. Oh, wow. Took a long time for it to dismantle. And I didn't actually have enough space. What did I leave behind? Everything. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm going to put that up on the hill. I'll bring you back. You know, it occurred to me, instead of running over there somewhere where there's actually a storage container, I can actually just build one right here. That way I can empty my inventory. Or at least get rid of all this iron and copper and all the junk that I picked up with that copper ore. Yeah, it's not as green as it used to be. Alright, anyway. Uh, so, let's go ahead and grab all we can, which is not enough. Because I still have some ingots on me. Yes. Uh, I find I'm using that slide a lot. Uh, let's put all this in here for now. Uh, it's gonna look like me, me playing Minecraft. Chests everywhere full of stuff. 
Alright, well, you get the idea. Let me go uh, get this built and I'll bring you back when it's time to do our first shipment. That looks like a good spot. I can sit here and watch it just build. Makes you wonder how that's happening, is it? doesn't it? And watch the cave below me f collapse. It's funny how it's get all dramatic the first, the second time around, dude. Alright, uh, this is why I asked Iron Hand when uh, they helped me uh, pave this area to fill in the gaps, because I knew it was going to be jumping off a cliff like that. Anyway, let's see if we can grab this before it connects. And apparently I've uh, watched Blitz, I watch Blitz play this all the time. He actually tried to climb the space elevator. Apparently it's just it's just an image. There's actually no collision box. Uh, oh, I hope this unlocks hypertubes. I want to get those going ASAP. Oh, sliding doesn't work uphill. It looks close, but it's not. Yes, I should have actually paved the whole area. Okay, let us put our first shipment in. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I should have to stay in here. I thought it was doing some sort of special animation because of all the noise it makes. And off she goes. Fun, fun, fun. Alright, so... Oh, these are the extra parts we're getting. I've seen these ones. I saw the versatile framework, but what is this? Automated wiring. What do you think? What are the chances that's got to do with quick wire? I will find out soon enough. But, let's go to the, the hub and see what we have. See if we get any fun stuff. Now, here's something I want to... I'm thinking about it. I'm not going to really try it right now, but, uh, maybe they change that. They actually change the look of it. But I was wondering, I'm wondering, like, if, uh, doing the old slide will save you from fall damage. That's a good question. Anyway, what does that unlock us? Uh, coal power. Ooh. Rotors. Make, uh, Reinforced plates and cable. We got the cable. So this is something that's new. They finally added pipes into the game. So there's a water extractor, pipelines, pipe support, junctions, fluid buffer. So it's basically a tank just to make sure you always have water in case you got to move stuff or whatever. Coal update, pipeline pump, which is like an inline pump, and then the coal generator. Now, the coal generator, as you can see by the image, requires not only coal but it requires water. So that's going to be interesting. I'm wondering if it's uh, like a steam turbine kind of deal. But I want to get into that because this is going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, so uh, let me get some supplies together and we'll do some building. I had one of those moments where I had to run back to the hub just to see what it takes to get into hypertubes, which are unlocked here for steel. Steel, and I can't even get into steel until I unlock that. So, yeah. We're not going to be at the hypertubes yet, but we'll get there. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to do coal power because that is a necessity. So let me see what I got. No, I'll be right back. Just enough. So I'm going to take those out. I'm going to take the rotors because I knew there was some of the container there. So I have enough of that. We just got to get some cable. And we get into coal power. So this is going to be interesting now. Like I said, there was a water source over there. Now, seeing as how I want to pay basically right to those mountains over there, as far as the game will let me, basically. Uh, which reminds me, we're going to have to some, capture some more limestone things. I might even get all the concrete going into one big, giant, massive building, or we got them all going into like a row of constructors or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so cable. Did I actually have any in here? No, I didn't. So, I'll be right back. As I'm running over to the end of the production line to go get some resources, I had an idea to move the hub. <laughs> kind of makes sense. I mean, I'm not running back and forth because it takes a long time to go there without hypertubes. Yes, I know. I'm not going to complain about them for a while, but that's fine. I need 300, did I? I have no idea. 
Now, why does that not stack onto that stack? I don't know. All right. Well, here we go. Coal power. Good. Can save the save the environment. I'll burn coal instead of instead of leaves. And I had to turn this way because I didn't know how this was gonna look flying into that. But space elevator is better. Okay. And the milestone's still selected, so let's dump everything in. And off we go. Let's see if they change the animation of this thing. Almost at the red. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was paying attention to the fly, the shiny thing. Okay, so I, I do know there's coal over there, I think. And I think there's another one just over the... the da, ba, ba, ba. Oh. Cliff. You go over there, there's a little beach down there, and there's the coal, and you go further, and you get to the oil and nasty area. Yeah, there's that one there at a kilometer away, and there's that one there at a kilometer away. Oh yeah, that's why it doesn't have any power. So, uh, let's go uh, Let's go get that first coal, shall we? Uh, I do just need a miner for that. I should have enough for a miner. Water extract, what do we need for that? Copper sheets. Oh man, I have to get some copper sheets going. Let's see what it takes. That's what we can check here. Copper sheet. Just a copper ingot. Uh, hmm. What do I have here? Let's actually see how the copper's holding up. Because I know the one over there is a 60. So let's check our efficiency levels here, shall we? Okay, you need 15 per minute. And you're going to be doing 30 per minute because that's all you can produce. So 30, 15. This was not being split. So you're doing 15 and you're outputting 30. Okay. And you need 60 per minute. Um, wire and cable. Hmm. Might have to hunt down some more copper, I think. Oh, that's the wrong button. Let's see what else we had here. I know we got two iron over there. That copper, that copper. Show me copper. Over that way. What was over there? This is what I like about the scanner, too. You know, you'll actually see the ping when it goes. Yes, it's V, not C. That's why I was doing that. So, let's see what it does. It's awfully loud, but I wasn't paying attention. I think it's up on the hill there. But yeah, I might be a little out of reach. Hmm. Actually, what I can do is I can just branch off on the smelter off of that. Now, where would I put it, though? I didn't think about that. I never do think about things like that. Uh, let me work something out. No, I shall return. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking of uh, doing. Uh, let me get up the container so we can actually see a little bit better. Uh, so, more or less, right now I just had this set up doing uh, the plating. In fact, what I want to do is I want to just turn this off for now. Because when I go to hook up the coal, I actually want to be able to just go straight into Mark II conveyor belts. Because we're going to need as much coal as we can. But what I want to do is basically have you know, I have the, the assemblers on one row here for, let's say the bottom ones for reinforced plate, then rotors, then whatever else we may need, because at least everything's going to be on access. And what I'm thinking about doing is, like, I don't know where this one comes off, but we might just, I don't know what the, that sound was. I'm sorry, I got confused. I, was, I just heard something I've heard before. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking about just coming right across like so, and then uh, we can have like a row of constructors on one end. Uh, can I reach the last one? Yeah, I can. 
like so. Uh, but what I want to do in the meantime, because I actually want to go get that coal set up as quick as soon as possible. I have gone a little. Uh, well, let's say I got a little, a little, a little ambitious, and I went ahead and made 400 of the copper sheets because we are going to need them. I saw movement. I thought it was something, a critter there. But anyways, uh, I'm going to get a couple of constructors set up here doing uh, reinforced plates, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'll show you what I got done up here. Uh, I set up three constructors, got them, or three assemblers, going them all into, got them all going into one container. So that's getting us a fair amount of uh, reinforced plates. Reinforced iron plates, that is. Alright, for the most part. Uh, yeah, I did a, a few myself. Uh, hopefully I have enough of the conveyors. Uh, also, I do have realized too that I'm pretty much at the limit of my power, power grid at the moment. As you can see, we're getting pretty close. I think we're peaking with about 30 left. Uh, the miner's going to use 5. The water extractor is going to use 20. So that's just enough. And I might have to shut off the reinforced plate line for the time being. Uh, but then when we get to the power, let's see how much the coal generator is. 75 compared to the 30 on the biomass. So if I've got... I might need like 12 of these things. <laughs> Let's go see how many biomass generators I'm using right now. Well, actually, technically, 30 apiece. So that means I have 11 of them running, 12 of them running. So 12, 360, yeah, if we can get 8 of them running, we should be pretty good for now. Anyway, uh, was there anything else I was going to do? Let's see how many of these things I have. One, two, uh, hold on. That's a little easier five and a half stacks should be good and what I'm gonna do got a few more poles and rod or rods and plates and we'll bring the power down with us so let me grab that and uh, bring you back okay off we go uh, I'm gonna bring you along for the journey because uh, I know there is uh, a nasty fellow up ahead here or maybe two of them I don't know uh, I don't remember them being so close before but uh, the fire breathing guys wires too long Come on, really? Okay. I'm gonna do this. Now he it started attacking me up here. Let's see how far we can get before we trigger him. You know what? Let's investigate. I know where I gotta go. Now where is he? Hmm. No, oh, lizard doggo, he'll save me. There they are. Well, shall we? Let's dance. It's a shame the chainsaw doesn't work on these guys. Uh, I am fully healed. Okay, that's just lizard doggo. Let's see if I can do deal with them one at a time. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, I'm doing terrible here. Hitting the wrong buttons. I wish I knew which one I hit. I think it was that one. There's one down. Run! Hmm. See if we can find some food somewhere. Uh oh, uh oh. Don't look back, don't look back, don't look back. It's like Ash in here. Wee! <sighs> Let me get some food, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's go do this for round two. It's a good thing I didn't destroy those things. Uh, yeah, I definitely have to get some proper food source going. Just in case. Uh, good thing is, is they don't respawn. At least I don't think they do. Let's hope not. Sorry, I keep trying to slide up the hill. It doesn't work that way. Unfortunately, I don't have any real inventory space, so... 
can't really be picking stuff up. Okay, where is this guy? Hey, lizard, you see him? Did he go back to where he was? Do I got room? Yes, I do. There you are. Let's dance. I just hope he's, he's alone. Uh, that's the way I gotta go. Come on. Come on. Come on. One more. Okay, that's better. So now, as soon as the leg stops throwing me out, of course, let's continue building a power line. And I am going to check to make sure that it's that way. Coal, yes. Now, I think this is the way I went before. I think I went this way. And then... Hang on. Oh, I thought I heard something. That way. Oh, hang on, I'm, I'm lost. Uh, let me find the way, I'll be back. I found it. It's down there. Okay, so now... Where's my power line? Okay, we just do this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the power line down. Uh, get the miner set up and then ride the conveyor back. And I'm going to conveyor belt up the same way. So maybe I should try to keep this out of the way. Hello. At least these are the, this is the easy guy. Oh, I thought he, I thought he dropped off. Where are you? Can you get me? Apparently not. Let's hope not. I'm not going down to get him. Although. Sort of just block them off there. Actually, that one's not necessary. I think it will be okay. Famous last words. Maybe a path find his way down to the river. Oh. You guys are so easy. He says I have health. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, it's just down there. I'll bring you back when I got it hooked up. I just remembered we have another friend here. He came out of the trees and he went back in. Where are you? Where'd you go? He's camouflaged. Oh, ambushed. At least I can take a beating. He can't. But I think that's it. There might be one other guy here. Yes, there is. Now, who is this? Oh, geez, there's a lot of them. Uh, save me, lizard doggo. You can do it. Hmm. Now, where was that miner, that coal again? I think it was actually over here. Right in front of me. Yeah, of course, they're protected. See? Now you can see it. You used to be able to see it through the terrain. But this is satisfactory. Hang on. Helps if I hit the right button. Oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta dismantle that thing. Anyway, I'll do this off camera, I'll bring you back if something goes wrong. Okay, I got it. I was able to sneak in the back wall there. It didn't have the little chunk on there, so it is connected, it is running. So now, we just gotta ride the conveyor belt back. So I will be running back when we get there. 
Okay, I have returned and I have brought a conveyor with me. A very zigzaggedy and all over the place conveyor. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start building some power plants. Now, let's see how many can I build. I'm going to need more reinforced plates. I should have enough. I need to get eight of them. So let me go grab that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, run out of power. Uh, just filling up the generators and I didn't have enough to fill them all up or I was just too lazy to go and get more. I can't remember. Either way, we're dead. But for now, let's go ahead and get this stuff. Let's see that up now. Am I going to have enough room for these? Uh, I think so. Okay, so the inputs are on the, this side. So I'm going to put them over here. And then what I'll do is I actually want to try to get this like right on the edge of the platform. Uh, I can't even tell how many of this takes. How many does it take? Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see how many I can get on here. Uh, looks good. Good there. Go over to the other side. Good enough. As long as I get eight of them on here, that's all I care. All I care is all that matters. Okay, let's. Start building some gener plants. I will have to gather up some biomass on my own uh, just to get those generators running so I can get these generators running and so on and so forth. So let me get this done and I'll be right back. Okay, so there we go. So I got eight generators set up. So now it's a matter of getting the coal split up into them. So I gotta expand the foundation a little bit. Uh, I hit the right key here. Okay, I'm back. So I always got six of them set up for right now because it's all I really need. Because we're only, I'm only really using about 330, and six of them will be 450. So there should be more than enough. Oh, I was going to say, where's all the coal? So I do have coal in here. I just have to get water in here. Uh, so it's using 45 cubic meters a minute. Now, what does the water extractor do? Hundred and twenty. So, does that mean I have to build more than one of these? Well, I think that's going to be our first overclock. I do know that there's a water pump. I don't know if that's gonna override the water collector. Anyway, uh, let's actually go find out where the water is first. And I believe it's right here. Looks like water to me. Oh, I'm swimming, so I'm gonna say yes. And I hear some company. I'm going to run over to the safety of the foundation here. You dummy. Okay, I'm, go I'm fine on health. Let's go deal with them. Come here, stupid. Where'd you go? I'll let them have a hit. Take that for the biomass, just because... Okay, so let's have a look at this thing here. Uh, production water collector. Okay. Uh, where is the output? There is the output. I've seen this once in a video. This is the first time I've actually seen it. Uh, cool. Let's go have a look at it. Keep an eye out for unwelcome guests. Oh, there's a lot of berries around here. <laughs> what do we got here? Max outflow of 600. Really? Oh, we're going to find out about that. Anyway, uh, let's get some pipes, shall we? That's the wrong button. Go to logistics. Uh, the big guy scares me. Build mode. Uh 
Oh, cool. You can keep the pipe straight or have them curve. Ooh, wow. Interesting. Alright, actually what I should be doing is... Are the pipes... I'm not gonna... Uh, I'm guessing it's, there's, it's not like the conveyors we have to build in a certain direction. So, what I need to do is get some junctions set up. And a few other things. So let's bring this to here. And then... I believe... Actually, let's put them right up against the machine here. That's the wrong button. So is that? Uh, what was build mode? Why is it not showing up now? Um, there we go. So what I want to do... Um, excuse me. What is going on here? I have no idea. Uh, let me figure something out and I'll return. Okay, I am just finishing up now. I had to figure it out. I actually had to uh, lift him up a full three instead of two. Because the pipe was doing a funny thing. But, this is it. There's one. There's two. Well, there's actually five. Six. Uh, yeah, six. Because that one's already counted. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, I know we did actually hook that back up, and then we gotta get power to that, and then I have made some more biomass, or biofuel, so we can get the generators running until this thing actually gets up and running. I need a power line, or two, or 17 million, whatever the case may be. Power connection is on this side, I think. Yeah. Let us do, hmm. Or we'll be starting over here, so I think that might be a good idea. We'll do that, and then to there, and to there, and then we'll take another one. We'll connect you to there. We'll connect you to no, create another one here, so we actually have something to connect to, and also room for possible possible further expansion. Now. We have to connect you to said grid. That's going to be three. That'll be okay because we got that one over there. Uh, in fact, we'll take this one. And we'll go over here. And then we just got to get this running. I have absolutely no idea if this is going to be enough. I'm not to get two of these things up, up and running. Wire is too long. Well, then why were you highlighting? Okay, uh, I was going to say, well, how's it doing? But I realized I don't have any power yet. Uh, hopefully there should be enough coal in these things to get them running for now. So let me get everything fired up and then I'll bring you back. Okay, I think we're ready. No, we're maxed out now. Why? Why are we maxed out? Am I missing a generator? Hang on, I got one's got one's missing fuel. I think. Uh, uh, that water pump is only supposed to take twenty. Actually, that could be it. Yeah, let's build another biomass generator. Just until we get that thing up and running. Uh, power, power, power. Um, hmm. Those are all taken. Those are all taken. There we go. Okay, and... <laughs> uh, we're just getting started. Okay, let's see what's going on with these things. They're probably not getting water yet. Probably gonna be a while before the coal gets here. No water. I think I need to add a water pump. 
No water. Alright, let's investigate the water situation. Again, I have no idea what's going on. Making noise. I think this is what a pump is for. Uh, hmm. What am I looking for here? There we go. Okay. Now, do you have a DUI? Hmm, chugging along now. I'm sorry, I get so used to sliding now and I try to slide every chance I get, but it doesn't always work. Okay, what is going on? No water. I think I'm supposed to be having these things certain, certain number of... Every... S oh! Aha! I see smoke. Where there's smoke, there's production. I think I'm going to pump. Let's try that. Anything that causes things to move faster is always a good thing. And I think I just heard another one kick in. Not yet. Let's see where the actual water was. You can see that one flowing. Ooh, flush it. I might have to get more water going. So far, I only have one of these things running. Correction, there's number two. It's gonna fill up, that's why. I realist realistically should have branched off like I did with these, but I think once it starts flowing, it should be good, so. Uh, let this go. It's going to take some time for the coal to reach us, so uh, I'll bring you back when we're we're smoking. Just call me the coal train. God, I love it. Look at that thing go. Just pounding away. But we got five running. Number six should be running pretty quick here. The coal has made it. That is good. There's nothing better than self-sustaining power, right? It always sucks when you have to go deforest the whole air, whole forest just to get fuel running. All right, so it's actually enough water to keep all these running, which is good because, as as you can see, this is filling up, and these are running. Uh, we're not using near full capacity yet, which is good because it just means we gotta add more stuff to the production line and produce more stuff. So there we go. So I'm gonna go to the other end there and I'll let this fire up and I'll bring you back. Uh, when this is going and we'll get rid of the old burners there and see how we're doing. No, we're not bad. We're at about four three and a half stacks and that second sixth one just kicked in. Awesome. Zap Two things that would make satisfactory very interesting. One is if you got electrocuted by your own power lines, and two, if you didn't have infinite resources. Right? Anyway, uh, so, yeah, we're, look at that, 840, wow. That's pretty good. So if I take off those biomass generators, then that's going to be down to another 360, which means still four. Hang on, hang on. 360, we're doing 840, so hang on, I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. It is going to be 480. Get rid of these things, man. So old fashioned burning biomass just to create power. Should be burning coal instead, generates more pollution. Ah, it's a 
quiet now. Till we go over there, over there, over there, over there. Right, anyway, how are we doing? We are still doing really good. 450, so we got 100 megawatts of spare. Uh, I got two more generators already set up, so I think the next first one of the first upgrades we're going to be doing is the water pump. Apparently, let's actually do that. Let's uh, check our research here with the old mammy. Ah, power slugs. Let's see. I need overclocking. Right? I don't care about that. Look, let's go scanning, yellow shards, and overclock production. It's going to take five minutes. So, I'm going to do that, and I will return. Actually, one thing we can do while we're doing that is we can start unlocking the next tier. Now, what is... Wow. It's a no-brainer. we got to get into steel. Uh, I will have to go and capture the other node. It's the wrong terminal. Uh, as much as I'd love the hypertubes, I need steel. And I can't do anything until I unlock this. So, I'm going to need concrete. And, ooh, modular frames. Well, I think we're going to save that one for the next episode. we got power going. Uh, we're going to worry about uh, the overclock at the meantime. So, I'll return when that's on. Okay, I'm back again. Alright, so I went ahead and made the power shards. Uh, as you can see, I set the burners back up again. Because we're going to have to get these things up and running again. And so... Uh, I hope I have enough to actually get this going. So let me load these up and then we'll go over and we'll overclock the pump. Okay, I am pretty much ready. Actually, no, I'm not. Actually, yeah, I am. Just do that anyways because we're only going to need it for a few minutes. Right. Get it up and running. At least we, I know I'll get a few of these going for now because it seems to be all the water I can really do. Uh, I'm actually wanting to make this a pump issue. Well, it's hard to say because that pumps. That pumps not doing anything. I think it's just the output of this thing. You know what I mean? It's running so hard. So we're gonna go and hop on a little boat here. We're going to give you one of those. Doing 180 a minute now. Let's see how that does. Because the pipes can handle 200, so this, this should actually do it. Let's go see what's going on here. I don't know why this one's not working. Maybe it doesn't need to. But let's see what we have. Okay, this one's got to fill up first, right? And it's filling up pretty quick. Okay, it's full. And then... Water starts trickling in here. Because this does have its own reservoir. You can hear that. Start cranking up. And then this one's going to take a minute to fill up again. So, I'll be back. Okay, everything seems to be going. Uh, that pump there has started to uh, like really start hammering. So, we're definitely flowing. Everything is powering up. Everything is full. Got to wait for that cold to return. But I think it's a good place to call it. Uh, I know it's probably much longer than anticipated. I haven't actually paid attention to how long I was recording this one. I've just been having fun with it. Uh, but at least we got two more here ready to go. So uh, the next episode, we're going to start working and getting the modular frames going so we can get some steel product produced. Anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.